What's up everybody? It's Brandon back at you with another YouTube video. Um, I'm here at Tool Empire. So today we're going to do a video on what you have to have to get started. Okay, let's say you you went to a job fair or something like that and you got a job with somebody like Holt Cat like me. Okay, this will get you in the door and get you started. What you have to have to do your first month's worth of work. Okay, um, there's going to be a few things in here that some people are going to say, dude, you don't need that to start. Yeah, you do. Or you're going to be borrowing it every day and your coworkers are going to get annoyed, okay? So some of the stuff in here is obvious and some of it's a little not obvious. Uh, we're going to start off with our ratchets, okay? This right here is a Tecton half inch, 72 tooth, 24 inch, uh, ratchet okay and I've seen a lot of other videos where somebody tells you to get a long and a short half inch and a long and a short three eighths for starting out to get in the door um, just get a long half inch a stout one this is off tech uh, this was Tecton was off of Amazon I can't remember how much it was I want to say it was like seventy six dollars or something like that and I have zero complaints out of it i have put a lot of torque on this old ratchet and it has worked great okay so that'll that'll start you off um, and then right here is a little husky 3 8 just a normal a normal ratchet 3 8 ratchet nothing special about this guy it's a husky i've had it for a long time um, starting out that's all you need for a 3 8 in my opinion for ratchets but then you're going to need a half inch breaker bar okay this is just the harbor freight 25 inch breaker bar i got it with a coupon for like 14.99 um, and i have done some very dangerous stuff with this breaker bar okay so uh i don't recommend that um this pry bar has done or sorry breaker bar has done everything i've wanted it to do and then some and it's got a lifetime warranty so if you actually snap it all you gotta do is go in there and replace it. I mean, fifteen to twenty dollars. I think full price is twenty dollars. It ain't no big deal. Um, and then this is a three H drive torque wrench. This is actually cat. It's torque wrench. Um, it's a rebranded snap on. If you work for Caterpillar, you can get these through cat. I like the one with the dial on the side. Um, just personal preference there. This ran me one hundred and seventy three dollars plus tax. Uh, on the snap-on truck, I think it's twice that, and it's just a rebranded snap-on. You don't need that. Now, the only torque wrenches I don't recommend are the ones from Harbor Freight or Northern Tool. Um, I've had both of those, and neither one of them were accurate after using them for a couple of months. So I don't recommend that. I'd get a decent torque wrench. I don't know if Husky has a 3-8 drive one, but I know they have a half-inch one, and I've had that for a year, and it hasn't lost its still calibrates just right um, but for starting out I don't think you need a half inch torque wrench and matter of fact most dealerships that I know of people work at John a couple John Deere dealerships all the cat dealerships they have a, a half inch in their tool room and a three-quarter inch torque wrench um, so that's it for ratchets for wrenches <clears throat> for standard this is gonna hit you hit you in your pocketbook okay for your standard wrenches when you're working on heavy equipment um you're gonna need everything from from at least five sixteenths i've got everything from a quarter to two inch get everything from five sixteenths to two inch starting out before you walk in the door because if they put you with somebody shadowing you're going to be busting out uh hydraulic lines and all kinds of stuff like that and you're going to have to have an uh, inch and three sixteenths i mean all kinds of different stuff okay so just get everything from 5 16 to 2 inch go to northern tool buy the complete jumbo set for 100 and i think 60 bucks and get everything from an inch and three eighths to two inch and then go and get the sets from one inch down uh, i recommend buying your wrenches in the sets as far as your normal wrenches when you're starting out you might as well just do it uh, you're going to have to eventually, and if you walk in there and all you got is 5 sixteenths to 15 sixteenths or 1 inch, you're going to get some weird looks because you're not going to be able to do all that much without even having to borrow a wrench. And if you have to borrow a simple wrench, 
it's it you're gonna it's not okay okay just <laughs> it's it's rather annoying and i only know this because i did that i had everything from quarter to one inch when i started and borrowed wrenches every day multiple times a day from the dude i was shadowing and he wasn't annoyed with it but then he was gone on vacation and i worked with another guy and he was annoyed with it he's like dude you don't even have have an inch and a quarter wrench i mean really so just buy them all in the standard anyways metric just get you a set from i don't think i've ever used anything under a 10 millimeter no i take that back i've used eight millimeter a few times so everything i've got everything from six to 19 millimeter as far as metric wrenches go to get you in the door that's all you need um the most common sizes that we use on Caterpillar equipment are 10, 13, 16, and 18, okay? So, for those wrenches, get a ratchet wrench on top of the combination wrench. Just a, a normal, um, this one actually flexes, but I don't see much benefit in that. For me, I, I mean, it helps a little bit, but this is just a clutch 18 millimeter. I have the 16 version also. Those, um, let's see, four wrenches get ratchet wrenches because it'll just save you so much time and frustration and you're you need it okay um get ratchet wrenches in 10 millimeter 13 millimeter 16 and 18 even if they are from harbor freight i don't know anything about the harbor freight ratchet wrenches personally the northern tool ones i love these things um i have mac in the 10 and 13 and they're reversible i love mac wrenches um, i wish i could afford to have all mac wrenches um so in those four sizes, I recommend getting ratchet wrenches walking in the door, okay? Um, as far as Allen heads, I didn't use any Allen sockets for a while, honestly. I only used your normal um, L-shaped Allen wrenches. I, and it was really just a four and five millimeter for doing like ECM stuff. So... I don't think you need any Allen sockets starting out, but get you a, a good little set. This is a Husky set, metric and standard. Some of y'all may have seen this in my toolbox tour. Um, I would recommend getting that. Torx, I would get a 25 and a 30 millimeter Torx socket immediately because if you're taking apart interiors, you need those, okay? Um, I don't have any of those out here. I've got, I had to rearrange stuff to be able to get this done. So this, I've got a little Northern Tool Torx bit set um, and a Harbor Freight set. Uh, the Harbor Freight ones are just fine, but the Nor I was just at Northern Tool that day and I needed a T30 and a T25 for doing interiors. I recommend getting that for sure starting out. Um, extensions and adapters, okay? I've got a six inch, half inch drive, Northern Tool Impact Extension and a 10 inch, actually I think this is 8 inch, half inch drive Northern Tool Impact Extension. You can normally buy these impacts, see this right here is half inch and 3 inch drive extensions. That's all the extensions you really need starting out. I have like 30 extensions and I don't know how or why, I've just accumulated them over the years. You can buy these entire sets for in between 10 and $25 at Northern Tool. Uh, with as many pieces as you want um, and when you're just starting out you're going to be playing with adapters and stuff because i'm assuming you're not going to buy a three-quarter impact starting out i wouldn't um, so i have a half inch to three-quarter adapter for a couple of the sockets that we'll get to in here in just a second that are three-quarter drive this one i don't know what brand this is it's it's been used so much it's rubbed off i want to say it's a part of a northern tool adapter set that i bought um so that's that's mainly it for uh, your adapters and everything. Sockets, okay. For sockets, this is going to get a little a little different than what I'm used to seeing for heavy equipment recommendations here on YouTube. In 3/8 drive, you need to get everything from 7 millimeter to 19 millimeter before you walk in the door, deep and shallow, impact only. Okay, don't buy any chromies. You don't need them. Here's a 15 millimeter that I don't use very often so you can still see the actual tectin um, and size on it. Amazon, they come in a little red case so if you don't have organizers like I do, if I can get this camera to focus again, like I do in my box, um, these are perfect. You can get 
you can get everything from, I think I got everything from seven millimeter to 19 millimeter in one Tecton set, deep and shallow. Uh, they were both individual sets. I got a deep set and then a shallow, uh, shallow set. Um, highly recommend Tecton sockets starting out. Uh, another brand is SunX. Um, they're real good. I've got a few miscellaneous SunX sockets that I actually found on the side of the road one time. Um, but Tecton sockets for the money, the value, in my opinion, the best. Um, I have some Harbor Freight sockets, but they got a real smooth finish on them. And uh, personally, I just don't like that. Uh, I like the, the Tecton ones because they got a rougher uh, paint on job on them. Uh, and like I said, you don't need any chrome starting out. And don't buy them. You also don't need any quarter inch starting out working on heavy equipment like I do, in my opinion. Um, this is this video is you got the job and you got to last a month. You got to have enough tools to get you through the month where you're not borrowing tools all day every day. If you start borrowing tools all day every day, they're going to question your pay rate. First of all, because like me in my interview, my pay rate was based on the value of my tools, which was little. Um, and if I'd have known that going in, I, I probably would have said a different amount. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't have. Um, so, metric. 3H drive, deep, shallow, 7 millimeter to 19 millimeter walking in the door. Impact. Okay, like I said, Tecton off Amazon. They're my favorite. Half inch drive metric. Get everything from 10 millimeter to 19 millimeter, deep and shallow. Um, and half inch drive, but then you also need to get a 24 millimeter deep and shallow. See, my metric set skips from 10 mil, it goes from 10 millimeter to 21 millimeter, and then I don't have a shallow 22, 23, or 25, and I've never needed them. I have them in deep, but I've never needed them. And I had to buy those individually because they don't come in sets because you don't ever use them, at least I don't. So uh, I would get at least 10 millimeter to 19 millimeter and half inch drive deep and shallow impact. And then a 24 millimeter deep and shallow, and then a 27 millimeter deep and shallow. I use 27 a lot, um, and that's all in half inch drive. And then over here is a half inch drive 30 millimeter. You need this socket, period. No ands, ifs, or buts. 30 millimeter socket, deep. I don't have a shallow. I've, I've never been in a situation where I needed a shallow 30 millimeter. Um, impact half inch drive, you need that. Standard. Well, hang on, we got a couple more metrics. So these are both Northern Tool, bought them individually. They are impact and they're shallow. 36 millimeter and 46 millimeter, okay? Three quarter drive. So if you don't have three quarter gun or anything like that, which most tool rooms do, or you can borrow a three quarter gun the rare times you're gonna use one, you get a three quarter to half inch adapter, you throw it on your half inch gun and you run it up. And then you tighten it down to whatever it needs to be tightened down to with a tool room three-quarter drive torque wrench, tool room, three-quarter drive impact, stuff like that. That's why you need this half inch to three-quarter adapter because you will use the crap out of 36 and 46 millimeter sockets. Um, standard, I was kind of torn as what to include in this for the standard sockets because I don't use a lot of standard to be honest with you, especially in half inch drive. I, I don't hardly ever use half inch drive um, a standard but I included them in here because you will eventually use them and I know that just from the knowledge uh, of watching other people work and me working around this stuff and I already had them um, so I'll, I am including them in this video but half inch drive standard if you need to put the money elsewhere into buying tools you can do it okay but we'll start out with the 3 8 get everything from 5 16 to 1 inch deep and shallow once again complete Tecton sets deep and shallow love these Tecton sockets um, that's 3 8 drive once again 5 16 to 1 inch half inch drive what I've got here is deep and shallow 3 8 to inch and a quarter they're all Harbor Freight I think um, yeah I'm pretty sure they're all Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Pro is what they are um, so if you need to put the money elsewhere, you can do it into your tool collection. But you're gonna need them eventually, so that's that's kind of up to you. This isn't really a socket, but this is something you're gonna need. This is a filter strap wrench for changing filters. 
It's got a half inch drive on one side and three eighths on the other. Um, can do any size filter and when it's brand new it's going to slip a lot but when you start covered in oil and stuff I know it sounds oxymoron it grips it better um, that doesn't mean go soak it in oil uh, don't do that <laughs> um, so you're going to need a filter strap wrench um, and we'll get to other some other filter removal tools here in just a second but that one I included in the socket section you're definitely going to need that uh, starting out pliers I don't have a very big pliers section for y'all guys okay I've got a pair of dykes. If you've seen my toolbox store, you know I love Klein, so I'm going to push Klein on you. Um, Klein dykes. The best, in my opinion. Side cutters. I don't have flush cutters. I know everybody says something. You get flush cutters for cutting them zip ties when you're zip tying stuff up so you don't reach in there and cut yourself on them. Okay. I don't have flush cuts. Um, these are just a pair of cobalt needle nose that I've had forever. Um, and I mean forever, since I was a little kid. Um, and then this is Channel Lock brand. I only buy Channel Lock brand Channel Locks. Except for, I'm going to start collecting uh, Nipex, because they are bad to the bone. Um, in, uh, yeah, I love Nipex. I just can't afford them right now. Uh, this is just an old pair of uh, Channel Lock, 12-inch Channel Locks. Get these. And then right here is another filter removal tool. This is a big pair of crescent channel locks so I just had to replace my channel lock ones because I let a co-worker borrow them he left them on tracks of an excavator and ran them over and uh, quit two days later so I didn't get them replaced I went to buy a channel lock set they didn't have any and I don't go without using these things at least once a week so I just bought a crescent pair so far they're pretty freaking sweet um, They've worked great. I have honestly no complaints on them. They're, I would like a little bit bigger. The channel lock pair I had was just a little bit bigger. But uh, these are pretty awesome. They were like $32 at Home Depot. I mean, I, I recommend them. I was impressed. I was a little hesitant at first because I really like channel lock brand um, channel locks. But these have, these have held up to, to the time so far. Um, that's all I got for pliers, okay? For y'all, I have long needle nose, 90 degree needle nose, I have snap ring pliers, all that kind of stuff. And we'll get into to what you need for your first six months. I'll cover that at the end of the video um, for upcoming videos. But that's all I have for pliers, per se, okay? Um, hammers, that's all I got for y'all. This is just a little two pound, maybe two and a half pound sledge from Northern Tool. You got to have it. Go buy it. It's like $14, okay? Electrical, Fluke 88V multimeter. This is all I have for electrical. No test light, no power probe. It's gonna create bad habits for you, okay? Just get a multimeter and learn how to use it. Sit there and study the book, read the book. And if you don't know how to use one, you're gonna learn real quick like. If there's a dude in the shop that's an expert in electrical stuff, you go to him and say, teach me how to use this. Okay? Um, this this is an 88V. I bought it on Amazon with this huge kit that had all kinds of different little test leads and everything for $660. Bucks. Um, I had an old, I think it was called a 227 with a clamp meter on top from my HVAC days that was freaking badass, but it got stolen. So that's a goner. Air tools. Only got two of them. Starting out, Ingersoll ran 3H drive impact, okay? Um, bad to the freaking bone. Uh, it's got the little Mac air swivel. Somebody commented on my toolbox store that you could actually buy these at Lowe's and Home Depot. I've never seen them, but I'm sure they're cheaper than the Mac truck, so buy them there. Um, I love Ingersoll Rand. Uh, it's the only Ingersoll Rand tool I have at the moment. So if you if you are gonna let me get this thing to try to refocus here. Um, if you're gonna cover my recommendations as far as brand goes, I don't know that Husky has a three eighths. I would assume they do, but I'll show you why I would recommend a Husky three eighths too. This is a Husky half inch, and I've got this and a three quarter both in Husky. Grease I tear them apart and grease them, and uh, about every two weeks, and I oil them every day. Um, I don't use air tool oil. I use cat freaking oil. If it's good enough for a $500,000 machine, it's good enough for my little freaking $200 air impact, okay? This one wasn't $200. But uh, 
But uh, this one doesn't have the air swivel yet. If I got a Lowe's or Home Depot, I'm gonna see if they got them things. And I'm gonna put one on here and my three quarter gun if they have the, the bigger chuck. Husky half inch, zero complaints. Love Husky anything really, but Husky air tools are bad to the bone. Okay guys, love them. Highly, highly, highly recommend you buy Husky tool uh, air tools. No die grinders starting out, no air hammer starting out. Um, for the first month we're, what we're going to cover in this video this is the first month of what you got to have okay to, to get you in the door and uh, uh viewed as a, as a as a technician or a mechanic um so screwdrivers this is going to be the opposite of what i see in a lot of videos i do not care about screwdriver brand all i have is northern tool and klein screwdrivers klein's really good i don't have any of them here actually i use those more at home than i do here so for screwdrivers husky little quarter inch chuck universal screwdriver handle with a milwaukee shockwaves kit every bit you could need i mean really that's all you need to get in the door for screwdrivers like i said i have a 19 dollar 24 piece screwdriver set that i bought at northern tool and that's what i have here and i still don't even have all of them here um I took some of them home. I only got like four screwdrivers here. I don't use them that often. And when I do, it's never for a screwdriving purpose, <laughs> to be honest with you. So this will save you a lot of money. Start now. Okay. Picks. $2.99 or $1.99, I think, at Harbor Freight. They're normally right there by the cash register. Little like four or five piece orange handled pick set. They have a black pick set that I think is a little bit more expensive. Um, just different little picks for pulling o rings and stuff out. You're gonna need that starting out, okay? Um, picks. Pipe wrench. This is a 18 inch pipe wrench. I won't tell you where I got it. Some of y'all may recognize this. Um, this is a, a universal tool from hydraulic lines to bolts to breaking down cylinders if you got bigger ones i've got a freaking four foot long one over there on my on the hydraulic cylinder bench um this this you need a pipe wrench okay and they're not that expensive Irwin has them at lowe's that are i think 29.99 for this exact pipe wrench almost this one is an Irwin. like i said i'm not going to tell you where i got this one oh um Pry bars. Hang on. Lineup bars. Go to Harbor Freight and buy at least one lineup bar. Okay? It'll save you a lot of time. As you can see, this one's kind of dull again. But uh, it will get filed again as soon as this video is shot, okay? Get at least one lineup bar, heel bar, lady foot bar, whatever. Use them mostly for lining up holes, okay? You can gram it in there and try to line up two panels. Have one bolt over here with a heavy pump and twist it and then get the bolt barely lined up. Hold it up here. Get another bolt down here. You need a lineup bar. Especially when you're trying to learn how to maneuver these things. If you've never worked on them before, the pumps and everything. This is a third hand, okay? Lineup bar or screwdriver. But a lineup bar is going to do better. Pry bars. Now, I know I just told you to buy a Harbor Freight heel bar. I bought Harbor Freight pry bars and I bought Northern Tool pry bars. Don't do it. Learn from my mistake. Fork out the couple hundred bucks it is in pry bars. If, uh, if I had to recommend to get the cheapest way out and only buy one, step on a Mack truck or a Matco truck. Most Matco trucks sell individual pry bars more than the other ones do. Um, and get a 18 inch, 24 inch, whatever this is, pry bar. This is Mack. I have the complete Mack set. Um, I paid $209 on a promo for a four-piece set plus the big 48-inch one. Okay, $209. That's pricey. That's going to run you about the same amount as the standard whole standard wrench list I gave you, except for you might pay a little less for the pry bars, depending on what brand wrench you buy. Buy tool truck brand pry bars. Or actually, a lot of the guys um, that I used to work with in the other Holt shop, had Mayhew Dominator bars off of Amazon. I don't like them. Just personally, I don't like the grip. That's it. Um, so 
you can give those a shot. I think they're a little bit cheaper than the Mac ones. Matco, I really love those grip. Just never could agree on the price. I never could come to grips with that price. Stepped on the Mack truck, $209 for the four-piece set plus the Big Daddy. Um, I was like, oh, yeah, buying that right now. What's the cash price? And I paid even less for the cash price. So starting out, you know, 3H drive air tool, right? I'm going to give you one that's going to make you a little fishing faster. This is a Mac 3.8 cordless, cordless impact. Negative, Ghost Rider. Do not buy this. Cape? Capiche? Capiche? Okay, whatever I just said. <laughs> this is way too much money starting out, and I understand that. So what I did, my parents bought me a Makita two-piece set. Drill and impact driver. That's all that is. 3H drive truck. Milwaukee out of that shockwave kit. Pop it in there. Now, this doesn't have a lot of break off torque, doesn't have a lot of run down torque. What it has is speed. You need to zip something out, nine times out of 10, this is gonna break it loose. If it doesn't, you carry this up there with, let's say your shallow 18 on it. You take your 3H drive ratchet up there with your deep 18 on it. You barely bust it loose with your ratchet and then and rip it right out. It's got a light on it, everything. And then when you need to run it down in, you run them all down in, and then you go back and torque them to whatever they're supposed to be at, or just snug them down with your ratchet. Always carry two of them on you. I had to do that for the first six months, and I don't regret it, or I wouldn't be recommending it. Um, this Makita has lost the cover here. Stuff's been coming off, but it'll break loose more than you will. It's been dropped in, covered in oil. I mean, beat up. And now it's at home, obviously, because I got the Mac stuff. And I love it. I love Makita products. I always have. Um, so, that's pretty much it. No, it's not. Pin light. This is a Coast. Um, it's almost gone. HP3R rechargeable um, light, or it holds two um, double, triple A's. It'll zoom in. This thing, you have to have a pin light. You're gonna have it in your shirt pocket. You're gonna need it constantly. This was like 90 bucks with the charger and everything on the snap-on truck, which was a little much, I thought. And you're probably thinking that. But after a year, I'd do it again. You don't have to spend that much on one. You can get them coast at Home Depot now, or Lowe's. Uh, I think Home Depot too, but Lowe's. That's not rechargeable for like 16 bucks. I have a the bigger version, a little bit bigger version that stays in my hunting pack. Um, love it you got to have a pin light. Magnetic light, I would say get one of these too, but don't get a Snap-on or Mac one. Just go to Harbor Freight and buy a little El Cheapo one for starters. Uh, they work just fine. Uh, that one's a rechargeable one. It doesn't even have batteries in it that I'm aware of. Creeper. You don't have to have a creeper. Nine times, I've seen, I don't know how many techs don't use creepers, especially the younger techs. Basically right around my age or a couple years younger than me from that other shop, didn't even own creepers. I'm a big dude, and I have beat my body up. I'm only, I just turned 24 a couple days ago, but um, I've done a lot of stupid stuff with my body, okay? <laughs> so I have to have a creeper, so that's personal preference. I have a Mac creeper. I had the $20 Harbor Freight creeper at the house. I had it up here for a while till I found the Mac creeper, brought the Mac creeper up here and took the Harbor Freight one home. The Harbor Freight one breaks the daggum wheel about every two weeks, take it to Harbor Freight, and they replace it. I went in there like the fifth time in two months, and they just gave me a two complete set of replace casters uh, for the for the Harbor Freight Creeper, <laughs> the manager did. I was like, heck yeah. Um, took it home. I haven't broke a single one because I don't use it that much. Um, that's that's it for for what gets you in the door, okay? This video is solely what gets you in the door. You don't, you know, you got a job, you had enough experience to land the job, but now you gotta walk in with some hand tools. Now, tool storage, toolboxes, don't buy a freaking toolbox off the truck, okay? Go to Harbor Freight. I don't recommend the little five drawer cart that everybody recommends for us as heavy equipment mechanics because it ain't got enough drawer space. My Mac cart, if you haven't seen my, my toolbox tour, go check it out, please. 
you'll see the drawers all the way down and they're deep drawers all except for one and I specifically wanted that box because of that um, I don't recommend the Harbor Freight little five cart five drawer cart for what we do it's not big enough okay um, now the bigger 44 inch box heck yeah heck yeah I'd be all over that I think it's like 499 469 with the coupon every now and then um, I would definitely jump on that if I were you. I didn't. I had a two-story or a two-deck, double-decker Costco box that I bought from the guy that is now my supervisor. Um, I hated it because the drawers were all an inch or an inch and a half thick, so I couldn't stand wrenches up on wrench organizers. I had to lay them all out all over each other, and it was busting at the seams. And then I bought the Matco cart, started filling it up, and it was busting at the seams. Um, so that's when I went and got snap-on box um, so and now I've Evenly got stuff distributed for the most part and got a lot of room to play with in bulk boxes and took a lot of stuff home um, That I never used up here um, That's it get you in the door get you started this is the first video of Many I don't know exactly how many I'm gonna say around five or six for people starting techs the first year in the industry okay this is the this is for y'all okay this is the first video the next video is going to be tools you need to buy within six months of your start date um, and that's going to be an again personal preference but that's what the next video is going to be the third video is going to be how to buy tools cheaper how to get better deals on tools how to buy a tool that's basically the same thing as off a tool truck for half the price or even less or how to buy stuff off the cheap uh, off the tool trucks at better rates and better prices okay um, that's that's where we're going with tool empire youtube channel um, if you have any recommendations that you would like you know post it in the comments um, like i said i've been doing this for a year this is the stuff i use constantly and then a couple things i don't use constantly but enough to recommend that you buy um, starting out to get you in the door um, yeah that's that's it guys that's I hope y'all enjoyed this video if you didn't I guess dislike it <laughs> if you did like it comment subscribe hit that notification button uh, again our Instagram is heavy equipment underscore 24 um, I hope y'all enjoyed this man I really I really enjoyed making that toolbox tour video and, and the intro video and all the all the feedback I've gotten from that I really enjoyed even the negative feedback from some of you guys um, I didn't realize I was gonna enjoy making these videos as much as I do and uh, bringing bringing the stuff to the, the kids there's several kids that are in high school that have messaged me and emailed me um, asking for this video right here and I, I love the aspect that I'm getting to help them um, through YouTube and uh, it's just it's a great community I'm really enjoyed it I've got a lot of feedback from some huge YouTube channels that do the same thing that I do um, and it's <laughs> it's pretty awesome so I hope y'all enjoyed um, I'll be back at y'all next week we're gonna try to upload a video every Sunday night um, Lord willing so I hope y'all enjoyed have a good one